Hey gang, welcome to your second Vue.js tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about the Vue instance. Okay, now before we dive into any code whatsoever, I just want to show you one package I've got installed for Atom, which might be quite helpful. It's called Atom Live Server, and what this does is spin up a local server for me and listens to a certain port. So if I press Control Shift 3, it's going to spin up a server and listen to port 3000, okay? So that's what I'm going to use to serve files in this series. Uh, if you've got your own, that's fine. This is what I'm using. So... In the last tutorial, we added the CDN for Vue.js right here, which means we can now use Vue.js code in this file, or if we want to, in an external file, which is what we're going to do. So I've already gone ahead and created this app.js file in the Vue.js playlist folder. There's nothing in that whatsoever just yet. I've also linked that up right here. So now we're linking to this external file and we can do all of our Vue.js code in here. So then how do we start writing Vue.js code? Well, the first thing we tend to do is make a Vue instance, and that is just an object that Vue.js provides us with. So what we're going to do is quickly create this instance, then I'm going to explain what it does. So we'll say new view, like so, and then we pass through an object there like that. Okay, so what does this view instance do? Well, its role is to control either the whole part or just a certain part of our application. So we could have an app with just one instance to control the whole app. So the whole app is running through Vue.js and that's controlling it, right? Or we could have an application where there's say three instances to control three separate areas on that website. So if we were using them as widgets, for example. So imagine you have a website with a search box, a friends list, and some kind of dynamic menu. Each of those three kind of widgets or components could be controlled by a separate view instance, and they have no relation to each other. They're all controlled independently. So that's when we'd have the three different view instances. In our case, we're just going to use one view instance to, uh, to control the whole application. So how does this instance control the app? Well, it takes this object right here as a parameter. And inside this object, we're going to pass through some options, maybe some data, some methods to describe um, how this view instance is going to control the application, right? So the first thing I want to pass through here is a property called L. And this L property is going to be a string, and it's going to say which elements on the page this is going to control, this view instance. Now, I said that this is going to control the whole application, and yes, it is. But what we need is a root element. OK, so for example, let's go to our index file and down here, create a div. And this is going to have an ID equal to view hyphen app. Right. And then all of our application code, all of our HTML, which is rendered to the DOM, is going to go inside this div. So this is the root element. And this is the element we want our view instance to control. Makes sense because then it's controlling everything inside it, the whole application. OK, so let's go to this and our L then is going to be this ID view app. So let's copy it. And importantly, we have to do the hash symbol because this is an ID Then paste that in. So now Vue.js is going to make this connection between this instance and this div right here with this ID. And this view instance is going to control everything to do with this and everything inside it okay so any kind of dynamic data which we want to output in here is going to be controlled by that instance any kind of interactivity event handling or data binding is going to be controlled by that instance for example we could have some kind of data we want to store inside this instance right and then we want to say to Vue.js okay output it right here so how do we do that well we do that using what's known as template syntax or string interpolation and say we want a h1 and we want to output some kind of name or whatever there well we could define that data in here on the view instance then output it so i'm going to do a little comma after this and our next property inside these options is going to be the data property this is where we store all of our data for this view instance. And this is going to be an object. And inside this object is going to be different key and value pairs, if you like, different um, objects even inside this data object itself. So we could store a name, we could store a title, we could store an array of data, whatever you want inside here. I'm just going to store a string called name. And this is going to be Sean. So say I want to output this now to this HTML. 
what we need is double curly braces and then say name. And because this instance is controlling this thing right here and everything inside it, it knows now to look for that instance and find a data property called name and then output it here where this h1 is okay and we don't have to say something like you know the view dot name or whatever the name of the instance is we'd have to do that we just out, uh, output name and then it's going to find that data and output it so if we were to save this now and check it out in a browser then we see sean we don't see curly braces name so if we look inside here we don't see those curly braces or anything like that we just see sean so how is this all working? How is Vue.js taking that data and outputting it to the DOM? Well, this HTML that we write here, this code, is never actually output to the DOM. We don't see these curly braces anywhere. Okay, so behind the scenes, uh, Vue.js is taking this HTML code that we write, is creating a template from it in JavaScript format, attaching any kind of data that we want to output, and then it's building the resulting HTML code, and it's going to render this HTML code to the DOM, which is what we see here, okay? So that's what the view instance is all about. It's all about controlling a certain part or all of the application and storing different things within that Vue.js, different options like data, we're gonna have methods later on, etc., and then controlling the template right here of that view instance, okay? And we're gonna dive much deeper into this as we go along. So in the next tutorial, what we're gonna do is move on from data and also have a look at methods which we can attach to this view instance.